The Worcester Common dates from 1669. The centerpiece, City Hall, built with granite in 1898. Hermes Rivera took us up the tower to see the view. From up here, the heart of New England is on display, civic improvements all around. The Hanover Theatre renovated and returned to its grand style. The old boys trade school, now modern apartments. The long abandoned boys club building will become a school for high functioning autistic students. The ice center is the new practice rink for the Worcester Railers. And Hollywood is adding to the city's economy. Liam Neeson's action thriller Honest Thief is filming here. And right down there, take a good look at Main Street, soon to be redesigned in a major initiative. City manager Ed Augustus. This reimagining of Main Street is an about $11 million investment. We're going to shrink the Main Street traffic lanes. We're going to have one lane each way with a turn lane, which is going to allow us to have a dedicated bike lane the entire distance of Main Street. Wider sidewalks will be a key feature. We really want to encourage pedestrian use, which we think is important to sustaining the retail on the Main Street corridor. We're going to have a lot of public art as part of Main Street and as a way of kind of telling the story of Worcester and highlighting the creative uh, spirit uh, that really is Worcester. Crucial to Worcester's renaissance, public transportation. About a dozen trains travel round trip to Boston daily, leaving from the renovated Union Station. New Worcesterite, Nathan Sabo. I'll have an office in Boston, I won't be driving. I'll take the commuter rail in. It's about an hour on the express in the morning. But Boston is not his only commute. I travel all over the country for business, so the airport opening here was a big consideration for us. So I can get in and out easy. Yes, passengers are back at Worcester Regional Airport along with some changes. While Massport long managed the airport, it didn't own it, now it does. When we took ownership in 2010, we had an incentive to start investing in this airport. $100 million has been invested in the terminal and runway, says Lou Evangelitis, chairman of the Massport Board of Directors. And most importantly, we have a Category 3 lighting system now, which means that maybe people in the past thought of Worcester, they thought of getting fogged in or fogged out or not being able to fly in and out. Those days are behind us now because the Category 3 lighting system is the highest technology lighting system, and it's going to allow it to land and take off in 100-foot visibility. JetBlue leaves daily for New York City, Fort Lauderdale, and Orlando. The Romani family of Ware is just back from Disney World. We could have gone to Hartford or we could have gone to Boston. However, this was much more convenient. You park the car and you're able to walk in with your luggage. It's not like you have to get a shuttle bus. American Airlines travels daily to Philadelphia, a big plus for Ed McAdam of Shrewsbury. It's very convenient for me. I can fly to my job down in Philadelphia which is a direct flight, 40 minutes each way, instead of having to go all the way into Logan. Love the airport, people are friendly. This is great for the area, very excited about it. And we are about to begin flights to Detroit through Delta. We have a commitment from the airlines, from Massport. This is going to be a great success of an airport. Runway 29, wind 330, 16, go 20, clear to land. 